Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. This week we're making a video on PS5 streaming. Um, using a PC it took me a while to figure out how to do it properly. Um, still experimenting with stuff. Don't have a lot of the fancy gear some of the biggest streamers have, but um, I just thought I'd show you how I do it. So if any of you are looking to start out streaming, you got a old PC, a PS5, a cheap mic, <laughs> this is how I do it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like this video if it helps you out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. First things first, you need to boot up your PS5. I'm just gonna turn my controller on. Just log into the account that you play your games with. For me, this is uh, JS Combat. I've got a few other just backup accounts or friends accounts that have come over before but log into this one on the PlayStation uh, there you go before you go into your game though we need to switch to the PC so I just pull up the PC here you need to make sure you download remote play you can find this um, on the Sony website Sony PlayStation website it'll just ask you to log in with uh, your details but this is the tricky part. You need a second account linked on your PlayStation. So back on my PlayStation here, you saw I had another account. Got one called Justin Bieber. Just a completely random account. Don't use it for anything except for connecting to the PS5. So that's the one that's logged in here. So I click on that. So that's going to start connecting. See over here on the PlayStation to the PC, you can see it's connected. It's uh, mirroring what you see on the PlayStation. That's the PlayStation PC. But there's one kind of issue at the moment with the PlayStation. You can see up here, it says remote play connected at the top. So a quick fix to that is to go to settings, system, language console language and just change it um, you can change it back for me i just rotate between english united kingdom and english united states so it will close any games you have open already then you can go back back in that uh, message is gone about remote play now so now you should be good to go so on your pc now you can minimize this, you don't need it. Um, some some people uh, prefer to stream, instead of using a capture card, they just, in OBS, you can select this as a source. I'll show you here, I've got this microphone that I'm using um, for stream audio, as well as party chat. The way that I do that here is I have this audio interface it takes the mic input, connects it to the computer where I can select that in OBS. And also here has a direct monitor out so I can monitor anything going in. And I plug that in through here, uh, in the PlayStation. I've got a USB adapter for the PlayStation so I can have a auxiliary in and an auxiliary out for headphones. But uh, as you can see, I don't use the headphone one. I just use it for the audio in. You just need a mail-to-mail -mail auxiliary cable for that to work. That's when you got that all happening. We just open up um, the sound settings. So the mic here. Sound settings mic. Unmute it. You can see that says USB headset. That's my USB adapter that we just saw. And over in the sound, set output device to HDMI. Um, it doesn't really matter because I'm using my headphones through my PC getting audio through remote play. Um, but what this does, it allows any voice chat coming through games to go to remote play. It's not trying to push it through either the controller or through the USB adapter. So that's probably the most important thing. Uh, making sure you set that output device to HDMI device or TV or stereo, AV receiver, whatever you're using. Just make sure it's not going through a, one of those USB adapters. That way I can use one mic, uh, both for the stream and for my teammates to hear me, depending on what game I'm playing. Yeah, it's just to 
get that testing. We'll just open up Warzone here. Make sure it's all working. Oh, there's no delay in uh, audio as well. Like, at first, I thought there might be a little bit of delay by using remote play for my headphone audio, but it's been perfect. Test it on the right hand side. You can see the microphone. I'm gonna tap this. You can uh, hear that on the voice chat. Or you can see that on the open mic shot test there. But you may have to go down to mic, adjust mic level. Testing, testing. Check one, two. Turn that up. And then just adjust it, see how that is. Check with your teammates where they can hear. Uh, so this is an example scene in OBS. These three. So we have a webcam. That's uh, what you can see in my face right now. We've got the PS5 capture. It's a USB video capture card. Uh, taking the video in from my PlayStation 5 and the desktop audio which is picking up on anything that I can hear through my headphones uh, so that is remote play if I was playing Spotify for streaming tracks I'll pick up on that as well uh, same with uh, Xbox game chat that can also sometimes play with Xbox friends can listen to that chat as well so this is this has been lots and lots of testing. It's the best way I've found without the fancy gear, without the Go XLR or yeah, any of that cool cool gear, which I hope to have eventually. Um, but yeah, so if anyone's been struggling with trying to get uh, PS5 streaming through OBS on your PC and you don't have um, the gear for the audio. Uh, or maybe you don't even have a capture card, you can use the uh, remote play screen capture which I showed before. But yeah guys, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you for sticking around. I'd love to see you in the next one. Make sure to give that video a like and a subscribe to the channel. And you can catch me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jscombat.